At first, we were alone. But then they came. They came from who knows where and who knows when. They came looking for our maths and they found us. They took every mathematical principle known or discovered by mankind. Now, the world is in flux. It's down to you, the last mathlete, to reconnect those principles and rediscover the maths. To save the world, the universe, and history. Do you have what it takes to become the Mathetar?
Recording the outcomes of events in tables and graphs. If we throw two dice, one red and one blue, what are the possible outcomes? We could get 6 and 1, 2 and 3, 1 and 1 and so on. There are many possible outcomes from this. When two events occur at the same time, we can create and use sample spaces to clearly show all the possible outcomes. A sample space is a kind of table. How many outcomes are there when we throw a red and a blue dice? For the red dice, there are six different outcomes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We can show these across the top of the table. For the blue dice, there are also six different outcomes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We show these down the side of our table. This possibility space needs to be a six by six table. If we roll a one on the red dice and a one on the blue dice, we have one one. We show this in the table like this. If we roll a one on the blue dice and a two on the red dice, we show it like this and so on. From this sample space, we can see that there are 36 possible outcomes when we roll two dice.
To calculate the volume of a cuboid. The volume is the amount of space inside a three-dimensional shape. We measure volume in units cubed or cubic units. This could be a measurement such as millimeters cubed, centimeters cubed, meters cubed or kilometers cubed. How many centimeter cubes will fit inside this given cuboid? We know we can fit 4 cm cubes along the front here, and it goes back 3 cm. So we can fit 3 rows of cm cubes going back. We can fit one layer of 4x3 cubes on the bottom. 4x3 is 12 cubes. Our cuboid goes up 5 cm, so we know we can fit 5 of these layers. 5 lots of 12. So this cuboid fits 60 cm cubes. The formula for finding the volume is length times width times height. Length multiplied by width tells us how many cubes fit on the bottom layer. We then multiply this by the height to find the total number of cm cubes that fit within the cuboid. Example, find the volume of this cuboid with dimensions 5, 10 and 3. To find the volume of this cuboid, we need to multiply length, width and height together. The length is 10, the width 5 and the height is 3. 10 times 5 times 3 equals 150 centimeters cubed.
To identify the order of rotational symmetry in a shape. If we rotate a shape one complete turn, which is 360 degrees, the order of rotational symmetry is the number of times the shape looks the same while being rotated through that full turn. For this equilateral triangle, when we rotate it about the center point here, it looks the same three times. We say that this shape has rotational symmetry of order three. Our next diagram has rotational symmetry of order four. This part of the shape will fit on top of itself four times. Once, twice, three times, four times. Thank you. 